our university. It is the home of dedicated lecturers, eager pupils, and of course, crippling stress and looming deadlines. We all know the same old rules when it comes to dealing with university demands. You know, that never leave your work to the last minute and spread your workload evenly throughout semester kind of thing. But really, who actually has the time or energy to keep on top of their work every day for every semester? In between jobs, social lives and extracurricular commitments, sometimes it just isn't possible. So what must one do to get that HD wham? Stay tuned to find out. Believe it or not, the university isn't just out to fail you. There are many academic services available to help you along your journey. First off, there's the Learning Centre. The centre does workshops for all students free of charge and focuses on exam preparation and general skills. There are hundreds of workshops available and there are also online tutorials to help you if you can't make it in person. If you're like me and are struggling with maths, the Mathematics Learning Centre is a great resource for first year maths students. It is designed to help those who lack the background knowledge for first year maths so that you are not behind compared to your peers. Drowning in Justice Kirby's dissents or struggling with that pesky concept in accounting? A great program available to business and law students is the Peer Assisted Study Sessions, or PASS. These programs are held by fellow university students who've excelled in that particular subject, and they hold revision classes which follow the structure of the lectures and unit of study outline. They also help with problem solving questions and exam technique. Another great tip is to take advantage of the online forums such as Blackboard, Piazza and Ed. University is no walk in the park, and chances are, if you're struggling with a question or concept, someone else is as well. Posting questions and ideas on these online forums allows for discussion amongst peers, which ultimately allows you to better understand the more complex areas of your course. As they say, many heads are always better than one. Sometimes university can be a bit overwhelming, and mental health is always important. If you're struggling because of university demands or home life, CAPS is a free counselling service that will give you a shoulder to lean on when life gets tough. Forgot to do an assignment? Special considerations are available for when your studies have to take a back seat to life demands. A full list of possible means of special consideration is available on the Sydney University Special Considerations page. For less serious emergencies, you can also get simple extensions. To do this, you should contact your unit of study coordinator explaining your situation and ask for a simple extension which lasts two days. And finally, some extra tips. Be good friends with your tutor and lecturer if possible. Tutors are generally younger and easier to talk to, and they can always help you out with questions no matter how stupid. The tutor's job is literally to help you. Don't just try to do everything yourself if there's someone out there who knows all the answers. Especially for engineering and science, find a group of friends to study with you or you may struggle. If you have five friends and you each know 20% of the course, essentially you have the whole course combined. It's always good to have a friend to read over your work. A fresh pair of eyes can always easily spot silly mistakes. There's always someone here to help. Remember to stay happy, healthy and safe.